Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Orion and today we're talking about how to fake slow motion. So let's get started. So we all love slow motion, it's really beautiful, really cinematic, and it's really trendy in all different types of videos right now, but it's not the easiest thing to come by. You might only have a camera that can do 60 frames a second or 30 frames a second. Pulling off 120 frames slow motion or 240 frames slow motion is still possible, but before we talk about how to do that, let's talk about how slow motion actually works. So video is just a sequence of images and typically normal speed is considered 24 frames per second. So if you take a timeline of one second, it's gonna have 24 different images in it. When you record in slow motion, what you're doing is instead of recording just 24 images in that one second, you're recording a lot more. Maybe something like 60 or 120, sometimes even as high as 10,000. And in post, if you stretch that out to fit the 24 timeline, what it does is it gives you a video that's a lot longer than a second. And that's how you do slow motion. But the problem lies in, what if you don't have a camera that can let you shoot 120 frames a second? What do you do then? Well, there's a little trick inside of Premiere Pro that you can do to fake slow motion. So let's learn how to do it. All right guys, so as you can see, I have my footage loaded up here and it's in 24 FPS. If I drag that onto my timeline, it's a two second clip and I wanna slow it down to 40% speed. So what I would do is I would right click on it, go to speed and duration and change the speed to 40%. And if I play it back, as you can see, it's really choppy and it just looks really ugly. So to fix that, you want to right click on it, go to time interpolation and select optical flow. And to be able to play back, you're going to have to go up to sequence and click on render effects in to out. That's going to render your clip really quickly. And if you play it back, it's going to play back really smoothly. And you can do this with clips that are even slower, maybe 20% or even 10% speed, and it works like a charm. What it's doing is that it's creating a brand new frame in between the two frames that you already have and using motion blur to cover any imperfections. And it works like a charm, you can barely tell the difference and honestly, most of the people out there won't be able to tell that this was fake slow motion. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. If it helped you out, don't forget to leave it a like down below. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys next time.